All right, so welcome back for another unboxing video. So this is called Histrio, I believe. Um, it initially obviously attracted me because of all the animals here that uh, are in this game, wearing clothes, obviously, and living, a, having a society, obviously. But uh, this is kind of an interesting game. Um, it's sort of kind of, a, it's kind of like a mixture of maybe perhaps Shakespeare, meets the animal kingdom, sort of. But basically, the theme of the game is um, you are, it's your job to hire actors to entertain the king. The king, he wants to see a show, and he wants to see an entertaining show. And so it's your job to, to you know, find actors and put on a show. And you'll notice that we have two different actors here two different masks one is obviously one side is a comedian the other side is a tragedian or which is basically like someone who's going to maybe bring cries out to the audience people are going to cry they're going to be they're going to be um it's a very dramatic uh type of acting basically and so because of the two different uh uh actors here, the the king is actually going to have an ever-changing mood. He is sometimes going to want a comedy, and other times he is going to want something a little bit more dramatic. And there is a variation of how dramatic and how funny it is. And so because of this, it's going to be very hard to try to make the king happy because he's constantly going to be changing his mood on you. You could hire actors thinking he's going to be a comedian and hire a bunch of comedians, and then it turns out that he wants something very tragic, very dramatic. So it's really hard to, you know, obviously um, find something he's going to like. But you want to try your best to make him as happy as possible, as well as bringing laughter and joy to the rest of the audience. Now, um, with that said, of course, the king is the most important. You're definitely going to want to make him the happiest as possible because, after all, an entertained king who's entertained well is also going to be a very generous king and because you're definitely going to want to make some money if you can make him, you know, if you can keep your king entertained, basically. So, let's open up the box and see what's inside. Alright, so here we have the contents. And... There's quite a bit of contents, so that's cool. And you'll also notice there's a... If you look at this picture, that's actually a 3D... Um, you know, it's going to be something I get to put together which is going to be the theater. So that's going to be really cool, um, putting that together. Um, so the rule book isn't, uh, it's nice and big, but there's not that many pages. So that'll be nice. Cool. All right, so that's the rule book. Here's the board. So this is like the board, I guess. It's a... It's a pretty long board, but it's very thin. So that's the board. Here's the punch outs that uh, I'm gonna have to put the theater together with. And maybe, maybe I'll be able to put that together in this video, depending on how long it takes me, of course. So, and here's the the blueprints and I need to follow, obviously, when putting it together. But let, before we do any of that, let's take a look and see what else is in this game. Oh. Okay, so here we have all of the miniatures. Lots of miniatures. Lots of miniatures. And it looks like I have to open it up. It's not like a Ziploc type of bag doesn't look like I'll be putting these in a 
a bag either. So, oh well. I'm sure I've got an extra bag somewhere if I want to put them in a bag. So, let's see here. These are the ships. So there's ships in this game. Um, so that's cool. Kind of, kind of like a, maybe a Zeppelin type ship almost. So a sort of airship. So they come in all the different colors. Obviously you're playing a particular color. This can have up to five players. So that's why there's white, purple, orange, blue, and green. Because these are all the different colors that you can play as. And then we have the actors. So here's one of the actors. They will actually go onto the theater stage. So at some point, you might have some of your various uh, actors involved in this game. So here's, I guess there's sort of like a rooster or some sort of pheasant type of uh, entertainer or actor. So they're really nice. I like them. All plastic, but I like them a lot. Okay, the coins are nice. Let's take a look at them. And the coins are plastic, but uh, better than uh, better than paper, obviously. And you know, I don't have to have metal coins in order to, to enjoy the game. I think I'll like plastic just fine. From what I also understand, we're going to be flipping the coins too supposedly so you're gonna be doing something like that and so it's not really gonna be very good if the coins are cardboard I suppose it's not gonna get the same reaction good thing I have this nice play mat to uh, uh, obviously uh, yeah I don't want to lose the coin either but I'm supposed to I think I'm supposed to flip it there we go that's an awesome flip and obviously it didn't make a huge noise on my playmat. So, so okay, so the coins are cool, plastic, that's nice. Okay, and obviously you're gonna wanna try to get, the objective is you're gonna try to wanna get as much money as you can. So, okay, well that's cool. But there's also cards in this game. So let's, uh, let's put these into the box so I don't lose any of them first of all, and uh... alright, there we go. Okay, now let's open up the cards. There's a nice amount of cards here, for sure. Okay, that was easy. Very easy to open up. Oh, we got so many cards here. The turtle. So, um, we have various actors, obviously, or acrobats, perhaps, or musicians, maybe. The turtle, the horse, the ox, the bear. The fox. <laughs> so he's obviously a comedian. The stag. Ooh. <laughs> I got to admit, I saw this in the bottom of the box when I first looked at it. Caught my attention. The chameleon. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, there's a couple of them. A few of them. All right. There's lots of chameleons. <laughs> nice. Okay. Even better. But these are the these are going to be the main actors that you're going to be uh, obviously hiring if you're going the comedy route, or then you're, these are the cards you're going to go for if you're trying to get comedians. And obviously, some of them have abilities and things like that. So they're not even though they're the same comedian as in a rabbit, they're not all 100 percent have the same ability or action. Or, or something like that and then and then here's the tr the exact opposite of a comedian the uh, uh, tradian or the tra tragedian 
which is sort of like a chicken looks like or rooster um, so so very dramatic so you could go this route or you could try for both obviously to try to make the king happy and then we've got some more cards here I'm not sure what these are but there's raccoons on them Looks like he's collecting money, the raccoon. And then we have specialized cards as well. The governess, uh, the great chamberlain, cha chamberlain, chamberlain, which is a frog. <laughs> uh, the king's favorite. <laughs> um, the master of protocol. And then, let's see, what else do we got? The King's Confessor. The King's Brother. The Merter D. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Must be some sort of French name or something. The Buffoon. <laughs> the Monkey is the Buffoon. I like that. The Schemer. Ooh. Oh, the Vulture is the Schemer. Okay, I like that. I like that. The Queen, the Stable Master, the Patron, the Groom, and you're not going to play with all of these, I don't think. I mean, you might, you'll have, you'll get some of these for sure, but I think, I think only one player is going to be able to play two of these max in the game. They're going to only be, they might have a few in their hand, but they're only going to be able to choose two from what I remember from the review. They're only going to be able to choose two of these specialized cards that I've been going over. So, the groom. So, that, you know, and they each are going to, uh, um, you know, give you extra money or victory points and stuff like that, I think. Or just, you know, which is victory points, obviously. The head valet. The wet nurse. <laughs> the master chef. <laughs> the master treasurer. Oh, I love this one. Oh, the royal advisor. Oh, yes. Yes, the snakes is the royal advisor. Oh, yes. I love that one. Oh, yes. Master gardener. The gentleman. The captain of the guard. And then it looks like these are ship cards. Possibly. All the various ships. No, maybe not ships. Well, this one definitely looks like a ship, but it looks like there's... There's like a whole kingdom or castle on these airships. So that's kind of cool. Um, that one's being, being uh, flown by a bunch of balloons. <laughs> so lots of different cities or something. Some of these aren't on, on a balloon, though. That one seems to be firmly on ground. This one here. So... Uh, Cool. Okay. Well, that's cool. So the cards are cool. I really like the cards. Obviously, I like some of the cards more than the others. Uh, the chameleon, the turtle, and the, the snake. Yeah, uh, or should I say the uh, advisor as the, as the snake. I like that. I like that. I don't, uh, There's probably only one card I don't like out of the whole thing. And the rest of them are great. Uh, that's awesome. That is good. That's always good. To, to uh, enjoy everything you get pretty much when you get a game. So, because I was still, even though I watched the review of this game, I didn't go, I didn't look in an in unboxing video, but it worked out in the end because everything is, pretty much everything, 99.9% .9 of the game is awesome. So that's good. Um, let's see if I can put these together. And uh, um, that way you can you can see it all set up. Okay, so I finally put the thing together. So here's our theater stage. And uh, very theater-like, obviously. And then it's got this really cool 
backdrop here that you can actually turn depending on the Keen's mood it will depend on what side it's going to be on the comedian side or uh, the uh, dramatic side so that's cool and then there's this little lever here to indicate where he's going to be if, if the Keen is is wanting a comedy he might want a comedy of a high number perhaps or he might want a a, a drama of a high number too so that's what that's for so that's really cool I like this I love the scale thing here um, it's kind of nice put together and the box is big enough that I won't have to dismantle it or anything like that there's plenty of space in the box for this so that is good that I don't have to dismantle it it was uh, not super easy to put together uh, I heard it was super easy to put together but there were a couple of spots where I it didn't want to uh, go in uh, as well as I was hoping it would go in there's a couple of spots where it definitely got stuck but it turned out really nice the door or say, say not the door but the backdrop of the stage spins really nicely obviously you can uh, do it from here so that's cool and here's the other side so that was kind of interesting putting together this little thing here so that's cool and then obviously that so so really cool and obviously this is uh, we're gonna do it this way so that way you can see the the backdrop a little bit easier the light is a little off on the other side and that's that's basically everything for this unboxing video so now you guys got to see uh, this put together so that's really cool uh, for the unboxing video so um, awesome well thank you guys for watching now if you guys liked this video don't forget to leave a like on the video that you liked this video um, as well as any other recent uh, videos you might have watched as well obviously I just unboxed uh, unboxed Klondike Rush so if you didn't leave a like on it and you liked it don't forget to leave a like because it does help me out uh, if uh, I get a bunch of likes on my videos it does help me out so uh, that would be nice if uh, you know if you remember to do that so really cool game uh, uh, definitely pretty fun putting this together and I can't wait to learn how to play this game this is gonna be cool so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys again next time.